Hey gosh, my lunacy doesn't stop. This is the problem with having the kind of personality where you simply will not give up on something when you know better, when you know that the chances of success are very slim. I'm that sort of person who just never gives up. <clears throat> anyway, so I've done my sound check. You will find the start time down there in the description if you decide to hang around and watch this thing. The start time will be down there. Um, so I'm going to have another go at trying to finish off this needle blight, which has really been giving me a huge amount of trouble. Huge! Uh, um, so normally what I do is I present everything first and then I open it up to questions, which is not going to be what I'm going to do today. Um, I have closed the window because it looks like it's going to rain and um, we'll see how that works. It hasn't rained yet, so I'm tempted to open the windows and just let the sound travel and go somewhere. Okay, all right, so uh, let's get started into this. In fact, actually, maybe I will, I will open it up. It can get hot in here very quickly. There we go. I will close the window if there's an issue. Okay. Uh, where is it? There we go, there we go, there we go, there. All right, let's start. Hi, welcome to How to d d My name is Fred Wheeler and today I'm not really going to talk about spot checks whatsoever. Uh, instead, I'm going to have a go at making a cheap Dungeons & Dragons miniature. This is a medium-sized creature, or a small one as far as I'm concerned, which is very, very difficult. I'm deciding to have a go at doing the Needle Blight, uh, which I've already started, so this is part two. Um, I have decided not to quit and to give it a go, so I'm going to do that today. We're going to work our way through this. It's either going to be success or failure. Um, never, t never done a needle blight before. And in fact, I have to say it has been extremely difficult so far. So here it is. This is what we've got so far. I have actually trimmed off a little bit of the putty, the milli putt that I was working with before. And I am ready to bend the, uh, the, the legs and then cut things off. So I'm going to do that now. I'm trying to turn this thing into basically this. I don't know how successful I will be. Uh, you will know as much as I in a second. So I have created like a whole lot of little heads, which as it turned out with my mallee putt, have, some have looked sort of weird, some have looked goofy, some have looked slightly evil, none of them look even remotely like the face of the Needle of Light whatsoever, and I've discovered that's because it's so small, and my little eyes and hands are just not capable of dealing with that sort of thing. So, um, yes, if you were expecting like a how to do it, and do it successfully, this is how a normal person who does not have any significant skills tries to make something like this, and I'm hoping that I don't wind up cracking or breaking something in the process. Just bend it 90 degrees. Will it be enough? Will it be enough? That's the question. I want I want enough so that I can actually sort of um, stand him up, put him on his base, stand him up. He's still leaning over a little bit, so we're going to just... Yes, okay, grab the pliers, Fred, grab the pliers and just continue to bend. Okay, so it's either in the right place or it's in the wrong place. It'll be one of those. Okay, so, so if I put it on there, will that look like it's sort of standing? I feel like it will. All right, so this is it. I've got to trim off. I want some of those that, that wire to be used as the base to secure them. So I'm going to trim it off roughly about there. So we go, say there, cut, and say there, there, cut. That didn't, he didn't, he didn't come free. Oh, 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 what happened there? Uh, oops! Oh no! Disaster! No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> uh, <dear. clears throat> so, uh, for those of you who want a real miniature um, crafter, somebody you probably can't duplicate, he's really good though, um, Tom Mason. He's got his own channel. I have subscribed to his channel. I have been for some time. 
That doesn't mean that I have necessarily acquired his level of skill. Um, I'm just trying to do my own thing. Right, so I'm going to trim off just a fraction more so the wire isn't going to overhang the base. There we go. Did it come off? No, it didn't. Do another one on this side. And drop those little bits over there. Come here. Come on. Go. Where did it go? Oh, I've lost it. And that little bit of wire is still hanging on there for dear life. Come here. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Good. So I got that far. My intention is to glue the head on later. I don't know if that's going to work. I really have no idea. First time I've ever done this. I would much prefer to make things that were large size. Um, does his legs look like he's... He kind of looks like he's a little bit lopsided. Let's just stick it in place and go from there. I feel like I just need to accept it. Uh, oh, I really do not, I've got to be careful, don't I? If I get too carried away, I'm just worried that the, the miniature, well, if I put it on here, it will suddenly just fall backwards, because it looks like it's leaning backwards rather than forwards. Okay, I'm going to bend these a little bit more. I'll do that again. He's probably going to look like he's skiing downhill. <laughs> How's it going, Darren? Hey Fred, let's see how this um, bad dude turns out. This bad dude, mate, are you talking about me or the miniature? All right, okay, so it looks like it's standing without me having to hold it in place. I think that's a good, oh, well it was. It was a second ago. No, <laughs> don't do that. Okay, so he's, he's standing, kind of. So let's get the hot glue and stick the sucker on. This is obviously the part where um, you get to see me hot glue my fingers to the miniature. Um, and of course you're wondering, well Fred though, but then now you've got a base that's sort of all covered in glue at the bottom base and it's not going to look so great. And like, well I'm going to cover the whole base with glue anyway at some point. Whether it's now or later, I don't care. <coughs> It'll just make life easier for me. Um, okay, so it's... I'm just going to position them. Position sort of in the middle-ish. In the middle-ish. Not leaning over. He's he's definitely looking like he's skiing now. Or he's moving forward. Or either he's, he's sort of like he's leaning to the side as he's walking. Yes, you can see that my ability to do um, structure and form is fantastic. Um, okay, so I'm going to let that set. I'm going to start mixing up my millie putt because I'm going to have to add more stuff to this because he's got a few bits that look like uh, he's still a, like a, a cyborg and I don't want metal bits showing if I can help it. So I'm using this stuff, Millie Putt. Um, for anybody who tells you that it's easy to make little wire miniature armatures and then put putty on them, they lied. They lied to you. <laughs> it is not easy at all. It is very hard. Hence why the first video had the uh, little, in brackets, go buy a 3D printer. Um, or go find some little figures that you can just chop around that are, I don't know, in your $2 shop or something like that. I'm not going to do that. I am going to be stupid and try to finish it. Okay. Alright, so um, you need both compounds to be equal or come equal amount so I'm going to mix up just a small amount because I don't know how much I'm going to need um, I probably are going to need more but at this present time I'm just going to roll up a couple of little balls match the size of my balls I mean <laughs> make sure the balls are even sized um, and then uh, once I've done that I will mix them together so I've got one ball there I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all the little heads. Maybe I'll put the little heads on the base, stick them onto the base if I don't use the heads. And uh, that'll sort of represent the number of um, blights that have been uh, destroyed by uh, the player's characters as they've been decimating these little plant monster creature thingies. Hi, Joe. <laughs> 
welcome. So why am I doing my stream right now? Because if I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's Critical Role Day. This is this is when Critical Role does their live stream, right? And there's going to be like a truckload of people and a couple of hours watching Critical Role. And I thought, well, I'm going to be one of those people watching Critical Role. So I'm going to get this done before that. And it's an overcast day and I don't really feel like doing anything else. Okay. All right. Oop, oops, that knife is falling apart. So I was just using a cheap knife. I'm not using anything fancy there. It's just like a, a dollar store thing. All right. Okay, so I've got my bits of... My balls are equal size. I then smush them together. And I will keep mixing it until it's essentially the same consistency all the way through. Da -da -da -da. It's my miniature sort of... He's glued in place. I'm going to just tack him on the back as well. Mm. Yeah, it's really tempting to, 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 to bend the miniature and make it look a little less like he's leaning it over and, and trying to go skiing. But uh, just little movements, little movements. Okay, it's... It's good enough. All right, so a bit of glue on the back of that one. I'll just do one side at a time. Bit of glue, bit of glue, bit of glue. Spread around. Just like DM Scotty says, spread that glue. All right, that's one side. I'll come back to that in a second. The card of videos. How's it going, mate? I find green stuff easier to work with. The problem is green stuff. I've got green stuff. Uh, the thing with green stuff is it dries really fast, and I need this stuff to dry really slow so that I have time to actually get things done otherwise it doesn't work which is why I use the Millie Putt more than I use the green stuff I, I know there is a time and a place to use green stuff and I have used it before but um, it only works when the temperature is kind of low you know when you don't have a lot of heat and you've got uh, something in mind you can do really quickly and I don't necessarily have that uh, luxury today and since I've had so much trouble with applying this, because I've got to apply it in little balls, we've discovered that trying to get uh, putty and work with something this small requires you to work with little balls of putty and then apply it and then move around. And I brought myself some water. I did not, I did not bring the Vaseline, for those of you who are wondering if I did. No, I did not bring the Vaseline. Um, but the water was working pretty well. So I've got myself a pot of water for today. Alright, so that's mixed up a little bit and it's looking alright, so we'll just break off a little ball of putty. I don't know if that's going to be too big or not. I'm going to have another go at just applying some more glue to the other side of the leg and then munch it around a little bit. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. And spread it, spread it, spread it. There we go. I don't know if that helps, but I'll do one more in the front. Spread it, spread it, spread it, spread it, spread it. Okay. Okay. Leave my hot glue again alone. You've missed your opportunity to watch me burn myself. For those of you who had showed up, hoping that I would burn myself with the hot glue gun, I haven't done so yet. <laughs> What's it, Darren? Hi, Joan Carter Videos. Do you know... <clears throat> Do you guys uh, do you guys watch this or listen to this stuff while you're at work or something? Because I could swear most people are probably still at work at about this time. Isn't it like Friday in Canada or the United States? No, it's not Friday. It'll be Thursday. It's Friday for me. It's Friday for me. Thursday for you guys. I would have thought it would still be you'd either still be stuck in traffic. Always fun. Do you think that um, applying the concept of traffic in a Dungeons and Dragons game would be entertaining? Guess what? You've got to get from Neverwinter to uh, Waterdeep, to Waterdeep, and it's going to uh, require you three hours of commuting. <laughs> I don't, I don't see, um, don't see it working out. Oh, Joe's on holiday. I work four days and then four days off, so I've actually picked the right time to do this for you. Great. Darren, I may or may not be at work for another 16 minutes. Oh, okay, all right. So you're trying to finish off your day. All right, so I, 
for those of you who are wondering what I am doing making these little balls it's because I know I'm going to have to do it at some point and I want the glue to set because I'm going to try to tackle the base section of the miniature before I tackle other sections of it. Admiral Akbar, how are you doing mate? I want to see more of this type of stuff creating different creatures. That's fine, I will do that but they are not going to be this small. I'm going back to working with large creatures or bigger because it sucks. <laughs> it really does. It's super, super suck, suck. Hi, Mark. 11.44 p.m. over in the UK. Yes, I, can, I, I did actually notice that. I don't normally catch your streams, though, due to work. Yes. Yep. I thought there might be a few people. Oh, hang on. Sorry, guys. The rain had started. The rain has hit. So um, I'm going to have to just close the window and position some cartons. It's a, it's a good good thing I um <clears throat> it's a good thing I can actually uh, <clears throat> see the rain coming towards me. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I know that sounds stupid. I really I know it does. <laughs> Joe, I'm not on a holiday, Fred. Oh okay. Uh, I have a rotating schedule. Yes, yes, that's right. Read rotating schedule. I work four days and then four days off. Work four days and then four days off. Forever and ever. Laugh out loud. Oh my. Is that one of those um, jobs where there's just no hope of it ever changing? Joe Smiley, how's it going? It is 6.45 Thursday here. Whereabouts are you, um, Joe Smiley? Let me know. So now you've shown up and you can see how to make little balls out of milliputs. You can see I've, my, my, my eggs are growing. Look at that. <laughs> What's that, emerald? Uh, creating large creatures is still good. Yep. We'll do, the, we'll do the large creatures. I, I just don't think I can cope with the small and medium stuff. It's too fiddly. My hands, you know, I've got, little, I've got big fingers. And uh, you need to be skilled and have a good eye. And and your hands are not going to wiggle around. I, yeah, I think you actually need to have quite... It's a lot more skillful working in small size. Large size you can get away with a lot. Uh, Joe Smiley's in Philly. Philadelphia. Okay. Darren, it's 1747. Yep, yeah, okay. All right, so we haven't caught... Well, that's what... So far, almost six o'clock, where you are. Uh, you could use maybe tweezers. Tweezers is, is one thing, but it's... it's. I don't have any tweezers. That's one, one of my problems. But um, the other thing is it doesn't actually solve a lot of the other hassles that I've been having. So, so now that we've got that on there... I'm going to try to build up because, to be fair, the twig blight looks like it's got um, bell bottoms, right? So I can make the base of the uh, the miniature a lot more bell bottomish. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to build up around there. And so, if I squeeze the balls and put them around the base and build up around there, it should look more like what the base of the miniature looks like, even if nothing else looks anything like it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what's that, uh, Joan, what do you got here? Lots of um, uh, piddly, diddly little stuff to deal with there. Uh, if they stick together right, it should be a little more enjoyable. <laughs> That's exactly right. Oh uh, dear, it is piddly, piddly, fiddly stuff. To be fair, I feel like this video is utterly useless to anybody because who is going to want to spend three hours or so trying to make one little miniature that is probably going to, look, you will probably want to tear your hair out, tear your hair out for the, for the sake of having a needle blight. What was I thinking? I just don't know. Darren, correction. Oh, okay. All right. So it's just after six. Fat fingers. Hey, I totally understand the fat finger thing. Okay, so I'm using some water. I'm trying to smooth it. 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 Okay. I might come back to that later. Because I feel like... The putty is actually 
too soft and me applying the water has actually made it worse. Okay, good tip. Don't apply water too soon. <laughs> All right, let's grab another little ball. Where else can I stick it? Um, in between his legs. <laughs> uh, everything is just coming out wrong today. It was, it was yesterday was just a shocker. I was just awful. Oh, it's it's not wanting to stick. It's because either I've put the water on and it's just not wanting to stick or... Okay. Come back and use the water later. Just get the balls roughly in place. Either that or is that... Is it the... Um, maybe it's the fact that I used uh, the glue and it's having trouble sticking to that. Anyway. We'll, uh, look, we'll just leave that side and we'll work with the other side. The other foot. We'll foot him. I don't know if you can see what's going on, but I feel like I've, I've got some success with the, uh, the, the leg and foot se section because the, the feet are not really feet, they're just like bits, really, aren't they? Little bits of something. Come on, you. Just pad in there. Mix it up, mix it up. Little ball, come here. On the other side. There. Pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it. Oh, sorry, I should have mentioned I am using. What tool am I using? I'm using the Citadel sculpting um, tool set for those of you who want to actually know what the heck I'm up to. Yeah, I'm using the plastic one. I wasn't fond of the plastic one, but I'm actually. It's growing on me. Not literally, but. It's become one of my more favourite tools because it's a bit pliable. And the other ones seem to um, have uh, putty stick to them a lot more compared to this one. So hence, I've been using it a lot more. Hence. There. Okay. Well, you guys are getting a good view. I don't know if I can see very much of what's going on. I'll make sure I can actually see what's going on as well. Just this is where it gets frustrating. Just trying to get it to stick. Can you imagine how many little balls I've got there and how long it's going to take to do this? This is why going and buying yourself or going and getting some miniatures and getting them 3D printed is such a smarter idea compared to making little itty bitty things like this. I totally understand for those of you who do not have access to 3D printers or the bunny. Uh, totally understand. <clears throat> okay. Right. What have I got here? I've I've started with the feet. I've built it up a little bit. I'm tempted to attack attack it more, but I feel like I need to let it harden. I want to stick some putty where I can see metal showing. Oh, come on. You mother. Go on there. Alright, okay. The fingers. Fingers, yes. And is it going to actually... Oh, you know what makes me laugh? Is yesterday I was like, oh, I've decided to pick something that's nice and simple. Look at that. It is just not wanting to stick. Um, eh. I'll use my fingers just for now. My fingers are covered in oil. <laughs> Fat fingers. Mate. Alright, there's another little bit of metal. Where's another little ball? Where's my balls? There we go. Just stay. Ooh, you, you, you. Now, the whole idea is I would make it easier for me to stick it to the existing putty. Well, now that I have established that is not the case. It's actually still hard. All right, a little bit of water. Clean off my tool. <clears throat> Uh, 
and will it just will it just merge and something like that? I don't know. I mean, at least you don't have to worry about getting all of the because it's like a plant creature, right? So even if it looks a little bit funky, it's like, oh, look, that plant was growing too much to the left or the right or whatever it's because that's where the sun was uh, that's my explanation anyway <clears throat> i'm trying to think of what will be the next project something that won't frustrate me quite so much obviously um, and you know i had many many weeks months to think about what i would do next and i was thinking yeah i really think i can do a needle blight now the um the rock creature is looking like a much easier option like a, a rock elemental or something like that i've seen uh some uh, what was it uh it was a black magic craft it did some pretty cool uh sort of elemental icy creatures i thought that was quite good That's ice. I know I said, you know, earth. So I, it's not like I wasn't thinking ice as well, but I was thinking earth would be more interesting to start with. I think the, the difficult ones would be something like fire. <coughs> and um, come here, little ball. Right. So there's a little bit of a, what's going on there? Is it the front or the back? That is the front. Let's just squish that into there. Ooh. Oh, that one went down so much easier. Maybe it's because it's a big flat area, Fred. Oh, there we go. That that's uh, that's so much easier compared to what you were doing before. Right, and it's just the long, slender bits that are difficult. <coughs> All right, I need a drink of water. Don't even. Don't even suggest how I'm supposed to deal with the hands. <coughs> I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use... Uh, it's, they're so small, uh, it's just going to be little flippers. I'll give it flippers on the end. Um, okay, what am I looking at here? I feel like <coughs> part of them is sort of lost in the front there. So... I know it's upside down for you guys. It's the right way up for me though. It's just pad out there. Okay, water. Not too much, not too much, not too much. And... <laughs> yeah. Yep. You can, you can say this is the really fiddly stuff. I know most of you can't see all the little details. I didn't want to zoom it in too much. I always find it difficult to keep myself in the camera otherwise. <coughs> Self-aware wolf, how are you doing? I find uh, watching mini videos so interesting and fun, but it's funny because I'm never going to use them in my game. Well, that's exactly the point. You, <laughs> how many times has anybody ever made their own miniatures? I know there are some people who do, and I have had people, many, many people request that I make videos on making miniatures because they can't buy them, um, they can't get them from overseas, online, they can't get them in their country, or they're just so expensive because of the exchange rate. So I totally get it. But can you imagine making something like this? I mean, almost every single um, miniature video, creation video that I've done, has taken me hours, hours and hours of work to get it done. And that's not to say that the Roper didn't come out re really good, because the Roper came out fantastic. It's not to say that the Beholder miniature wasn't really good. It was all right. Um, it looked like a, I mean, maybe if, if I hadn't given it so many more um, bumpy bits all over it, it wouldn't have been quite so weird. But um, it certainly, uh, it certainly came out better than I thought it would. And what's the, the Osiog? We made an Osiog as well, didn't we? 
I feel like those were highly successful. And the fact that um, Roll for Damage, who has a channel, made a, uh, a door mimic based off my door mimic, and his door mimic was like super impressive compared to mine. I was like, oh man, there's some skills there. But I think it's because he had a really good door to begin with. Okay, so um, now I'm trying to decide where to stick my next ball. I'm going to stick a ball there. Uh, do I want to stick it there? Stick it there. Well, I'm going to try to. Oops, now, now it just looks weird. Get him over here. Ah, <laughs> you. Come here. All right. Yes, so hours and hours of fun of very carefully trying to stick little balls onto a tiny miniature. Of course, little bits of putty will just fall off just like that happened. See that? Isn't that exciting stuff? Chris Collins. Nice, I love part one of this. You got uh, you got this, Fred. Hey, mate. Um, I think I think I was losing it. I really did. Uh, I just couldn't stop myself, and all of the most dirty, foul thoughts were running through my mind. And it was all I could do was to just um, run with it without just cursing and swearing, which of course isn't good. I totally know that, um, but it's the only response I could think of at the time because I was having so much trouble and there was so much panic going on. I was like, I was really panicking big time. <laughs> and, I, and what is scary is that um, so many people, are, you know, for a live stream channel of my size, the number of people who watched even part of that video <laughs> was surprising. Um, and I'm, I, was, I was really expecting a lot of people to give me a big um, thumbs down, like, Fred, you suck. I think the title was just about right, though. <laughs> uh, Mark, what's that? Get an old paintbrush, toothbrush, uh, two, blob of super glue on the end of your of this mini's um, arm. Let it dry. Then trim off the the what the the stuck bristles. Ta-da! I've tried doing that stuff with bristles before, and I feel like it, it was—it didn't work very well. I'm going to think of something else. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so now, what I think what I want to do is I'm going to put a little bit of water on the chest area. I think that's supposed to be chest. Is it the chest or the back? I think it's the chest. <laughs> he doesn't know which side it is. It's not a good sign. <clears throat> I'm just going to try to work on the body. I've brought some super glue so I can stick one of these heads on. I know I should probably build up the shoulder on one side, but I was like, mm, do I really need to? It's like, no, no, I don't. Nope, 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 nope. And he's. Sticking it on, sticking it on, little pressing here, little pressing there. Uh -huh. So, yes, Earth Elemental. I feel like that will be my next project. Those of you who like the painting, don't worry, I'll come back to it, but it's just, it is too hot. I, um, I couldn't help myself that... Um, Shambling Mound's coming along quite nicely, by the way. I have actually been painting it outside of uh, YouTube and live streaming, for those of you who are wondering. And it is it is working out all right. I have I've had more success with that than I had dreamed. And I feel like a wash over it, and then some some sort of lacquer, and she's all good. All right, that's. Uh, Kind of looks weird. It looks like a square there. It does look like a square there. All right, let's stick on another piece there. Yes, it she she stuck on. Look at that. The trick is trying to get it to look like a chest. Right now, it does not. It just looks weird. Ah. Squish it. Squish it down. Squish it down. And dip. 
dipping in the water, not too much water, not too much water, and smooth. So it seems to me, from the polls on the channel, that we will definitely be seeing a Dungeon Master Q&A. Uh, obviously that'll be happening uh, in a few days, it's not too far off. And we will also see a, a Player's Q&A. Um, and I'll put up a poll for what the topic for that will be covering uh, later. But it looks like here, yeah, Dungeon Masters will get their own thing, players will get their own thing. And uh, I'll do that once a month for each one. And uh, two times out of the uh, month we'll get the... Uh, just stay, you silly thing. Two times out of the month you'll, month you'll get the Lost Mine of Fandelva DM Guides. And that should sort of cover everything. So a little bit, a little less content on the Lost Mind of Fandalva, but I feel like um, it might be necessary. I uh, I am aware that if I make a video for Dungeon Masters, it's not necessarily the same sort of content that players are interested in. I'm a little worried about the player side of things because I don't play quite as much as I have DM'd. Therefore. I'm not going to be able to provide people with um, advice on the best type of character build, which I suspect a lot of players would be thinking. All right, so I kind of built the chest a little bit. <clears throat> uh, Joan, what's this? Have its head hanging down over its chest. That would make it spooky looking, and you don't have to worry about making its chest look right. That's true. And that's very true. Yes, you make a good point there. Um, yeah, okay, I'll think about it. Right, so, uh, what are we doing here? We are, the arms there. Let's, let's stick a bit of blobby stuff. Oh, is it going to stick? Come on, you. Blob it on. Ah, uh, you, all right, hang on. My fingers, my fingers are getting involved, and I'm gonna just stick it there. And now, I'm gonna try to work it in. I think my greatest fear is that if I try to use the super glue to stick the head on, it's gonna fall off anyway. That's that's that is actually. Um, I've been contemplating that possibility. I have been considering making another head, but it was so difficult that I'm a little worried about doing it. Come on, you. Just... Now he looks like he's got a great huge welt on there. It's not pus-filled, but it certainly doesn't look right. Um, i just pat it down a little bit. Pat it in a little bit. Pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat, 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 pat. It has evened out the body a little bit. Not a lot, but just a tad. Okay. Okay. It's not, it's not, I wouldn't say that's bad. It's actually looking reasonable. Thank God my, my mum and my brothers are not here. And they'd be like, Fred, that's not proportional. They're all very artistic and things like proportion and painting and drawing they're very good at. Me, not so good at that sort of thing. I don't do it as much as they do but that's, yeah. Okay, righto. What do you guys think? Is that helped? even remotely to sort of help balance it out. I feel like the chest on one side needs a little bit more putty because it looks like it's a little bit lopsided. Um, but then the body's a bit lopsided anyway. It's, um, oh, I know what I should do. I'm gonna grab this little ball here and I'll stick it just there. And see if I can't build out the chest section a bit more. Oh, now, now, it's, gonna, <laughs> now it's gonna look weird, right? Now it's gonna be too much. And 
and then just press it up, press it up, press it up, and then how do I work that on? Let's just um, bit of water, maybe that'll help. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> I know I'm not close enough for you guys to get really good clear view of it, Chris. I, uh, I do, I do realize. What I will do is if um, if I actually get to a point where I'm happy with it and it winds up getting painted. I'll put up a photo. I can stick one on the YouTube channel, or because um, I can upload photos, right? So it's part of the community tab, which is super helpful. Man, I have had so much. Um, it's been so helpful to have that community tab added. For those of you who are unaware of it, really, really awesome. Okay, so. Okay, um, it's a bit square there. I don't know if it matters if it's a bit square. I just wish I could press press it over a bit more. <coughs> it's not completely proportional, but it'll it'll do. Um, okay, so where else do I need to stick putty? I'm going to put some putty on the legs over here. He says between the legs <laughs> what's that mark looks great uh, it's a human form not a human so you expect some imperfection it's got a good creepy pose well it's definitely creepy oh, there's no way I'm going to get my finger in there oh, and there's no way that little ball is going to stick there I'm going to wet it and see if that helps oh it's come off again It's, now it's just traveling around the leg. Is there a way of getting it to stay there? Oh, I, I think the idea was to try to attach it to the front of the leg, not the back of the leg. Here we go. Stay. Silly thing. Oh, oh, well, yeah. This is working. <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> and stick, stick it on, stick it on, stick it on, stick it on. No, it's traveling around. It's not like I can get my fingers in there too, because my, my fingers are just too big. Oh, oh, do that just stick the front? Or oh, some of it did. And again, I might have, I might have just by dumb luck got it in the right place. Hi, Aaron, how's it going? Color that different, and you have a doppelganger. Well, true. <laughs> Color that different, and you do. You have a doppelganger. Absolutely. A headless doppelganger. <laughs> it's basically a little person. A humanoid of some kind. Oh, um, for those of you who follow uh, some of the YouTube channels, I noticed that Dungeon Dudes did a really nice video on exploration. Um, they've got the usual best worst videos and all that sort of stuff, but their um, exploration video I actually thought was actually pretty decent for those of you who are interested. Um, it's got some good advice there. And I, th I think it actually sort of covers some of the the ins and outs of um, exploration that are important to Dungeons and Dragons that they have discussed. So I think that's definitely worth your time. All right, his buttocks. Look at his buttocks. They're, they're non-existent. We'll give him some some. Uh, we'll give him a backside, shall we? Let's stick it on. A needle blight doppelganger. Aaron, good idea. Hang on. Let's just check the 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 backside of our um, existing. <laughs> I, I know, I know what you're thinking. I will, we'll check the backside view of our existing needle blight and see if we can duplicate it. This reminds me of all of those Van Damme movies in the butt, the butt scenes. <laughs> Not that I watched Van Damme for the butt scenes, for those of you who are thinking that that might be the case, but no. 
It was because he was going to probably punch or kick somebody. Uh, Chris, what's that? Cool, I'll check out the Dungeon Dudes. I like those guys. A lot of people like those guys. I've noticed their content has changed a little bit in terms of... Um, they were putting out everything out at, uh, at 4K quality, but the 4K stuff seems to have fallen, fallen away. I suspect because they aren't... They're not full-time as far as I can tell. And they are also trying to um, live stream their games, um, which has probably chewed up a lot of their time. Hence the uh, trying to get video content out in, in a timely manner in 4K is probably a little bit difficult. Okay, so I have improved the Botox, not completely, but slightly better than was before. <clears throat> the butt scenes, that's right. But, we can have those scenes that, um, <clears throat> yes, the splits, yes, I remember the splits too, yes. You, you, had a, you always had a scene in a movie where there was a split. Of course, none of this is useful in your, in your Dungeons and Dragons game. If you think that you should have a, a butt scene for your NPC, <laughs> I can tell you now, it, it probably won't go down great. Um, you'll probably just get weird looks, so don't even bother. This is not advice on including butt scenes in your D&D game. Um, it's just super stupid banter on my part. Yep, too much water. <clears throat> Aaron, this is good YouTube, watching a guy creating a creature backside. That's right. You get to see the backside of the creature. Uh, too much water there. It's getting a little out of control. When's, where's Van Dam when you need him? <laughs> okay. So, I feel like one cheek is slightly bigger than the other, but it looks a little bit better than, be well, does it? Does it really? Turn this thing over. And he's got more of a square, a square backside. So the needle blight's been working out. So I don't know if I can do a square. It's not a square, it's more, it's triangular, right? Triangular. If you've been working out your, your buttocks, then they're going to look triangular. Oh, okay, you're overthinking this now, Fred. It's just looking weird. Um, okay, so if I can blend it over onto the back. Okay, I'm going to leave the, the buttocks alone. I feel like that's not actually improving things that much. Joe Smiley. Looks better. Every video should um, should be done in two more videos. <laughs> Uh, okay, all right, so before I, I start losing it, if I haven't already, I'm going to put a little ball of, or I'm going to try to, on the shoulder here and build up that shoulder. It's a shoulder back, it's his back, it's his back. What am I talking about, Fred? It's his back. And use my finger. And a little bit of water. And we should be fine. Would those butt, butt scenes be acrobatics or athletic checks? I think... I think it's definitely going to be a combination. Don't you? I think that's... I think that's actually a combination. I would require two, two roles. Acrobatics and athletics. What, it's, what is it going to achieve, though? <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> what are you going to do? Are you going to demonstrate your, your buttocks in a D&D game and scare the monsters off? Or oh, the other thing, Sedu seduction? <laughs> uh, the seducing the barmaid. Um, all right. Okay, so that's um, looking really hoary. I'm going to put some more uh, putty on the... Where am I going to stick some more putty? I'm going to stick some more putty on the legs. Legs, legs, feet locations.
it just doesn't want to stay there. That's the problem. If I build it up and give him that, that really sort of pronounced bell-bottom look to his feet. And somehow I will make it stick. I'm not picking my nose to make it stick though. It's, it's, it's going to be water or the oil from my finger. Charm person spell. Yes, charm person spell followed by um, the um, athletics, acrobatics, uh, butt cheek check. So this is this is quality um, quality advice here. I don't know. Clearly, I've got a little bit of yesterday bleeding over on, into today. Do you know the bit, best scenes that I always felt were were really impressive was like the best scene is going to be when he he tries to kick something that's really really high and you're you just like how is a person able to get their leg that high I mean I've been involved in martial arts for a lot of years I don't do it now but getting your your leg that high is very 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 difficult this creature does not squat for those of you who are wondering that's why the legs are so uh, spindly. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. It's looking a bit nasty back there now. Let's just see if I can't clean that up. Um, okay. All right. So, uh, more putty. I'm just going to just wipe my hands because I've covered in sweat. I'm, my hands are sweating a lot. This is stressful. Stressful stuff. It's supposed to be calming and relaxing. What are you up to, Fred? You're making life more difficult than it needs to be. Though the somatic part of the spell is um, a twerk. Well, I suppose it could. Yeah, why not? Twerk it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's... Um, how much do I need? Probably not very much. Let's cut off that much. Make a ball and see what we've got. I would like to think that I could stick with super glue the head on today, but since some of it is is sort of soft, it's probably not going to stick, so I won't do that. Uh, Joe, fail both and you can't get back up from the splits. That's right. You remain prone for the entire encounter. <laughs> Which means everybody gets advantage on you. <laughs> uh, oh dear. <clears throat> Charisma check, do you reckon? Well, it depends. It might not be a female NPC. It, it might be going both ways. I'm not saying that Van Damme does, but I'm just saying... Okay, all right, let's clean it up, Fred, clean it up. There must be something else I can talk about that does not involve um, um, Van Damme's butt cheeks. I'm sure I can do that. Oh, come back here. So, what sort of topics am I going to throw into the players' Q&A, which I'll probably do in about a week's time? I will put up combat tutorial as an option. I'm terrified of doing it. I could glue little horns onto it, but I don't know that I want to do that. I'm not really trying to make a little a little evil thing. I, not with horns. I mean, it doesn't have horns as such. It's just got a pronounced sort of funny looking head to it, right? All right, so let's mix these together. And... I know, I feel like I have covered most of the miniature and I've got legs that are sort of look like legs. Do they look like wood? I don't know. I don't know about that. Yep. Thorns. Oh, thorns. Thorns. I'm not sure. It's really small. Um, Recalbunga. Recalbunga. 
2 a.m. here. You man, go to sleep. Must sleep. You must definitely go to sleep. Go to sleep, man. Don't hang about. It'll still be here. You can watch it some other time. But I'll watch it tomorrow. I need blights for my Lost Mine of Fandalva next week. Next month. Next, next month, mate. Go and find some little plastic toy soldiers or something like that and just cut the bits off that you don't need. You, you do not want to be trying to do this. This is just torture. It's really, really, really hard. And it, I can't say that it's really... Does it really look like a needle blight? <sighs> not really. Good night, Cowbunga. <sighs> okay, so I'm still blending my putty. So we're into... It's 55 minutes... I have managed to um, build up the chest a bit, um, tidy up the legs, glued it in place, trimmed it off, um, kind of given, given it the bell bottom leggy look, and it's, it's now time to try to figure out what I'm going to do with the hands. And I think flippers for his hands is much easier for somebody. I'm only kidding. No, I'm not. I'm not kidding. They're going to be little flat, platey things or something like that. I don't know how else I'm supposed to make that work without it being really difficult. Okay, all right. So let us let us see if the hand. I feel like the hands are going to wind up being like super difficult. All right. Got it. Got it. Right now, ball. Is that bit ball big enough? Though? That's the thing. Now I've got to flatten the ball, squish it, shape it longer, longer, longer. And how do I attach it? This is a question. Um, I'm going to try just wetting the surface. Actually, maybe I'll just. Yeah, use Warhammer Dryads. They are perfect for twig blights. Uh, you get 18 of them for about $2 each. Yeah. yeah, much smarter idea. Go with Joe's idea. It's a plant so hands can be vines-like. Yeah, vine-like. Yeah, exactly. Or just, um, I don't know. I'm going to just stick some putty there and then see what I can do with it. If I can get it to stay there, that is. Oh, well, shaping it was working. I've lost all the shape. Trying to get it on there is difficult. Okay, so now, now that I've got the putty on, just smooth it over. Smooth it into place. Come here, you. Smooth it into place, smooth it into place. There's got to be an easier way to do this. I'm sure there is. And I think going and buying your own dryads is probably a much smarter idea than trying to make them out of putty. Utterly useless video for everybody. Um, so now what? Um, He's lost. He doesn't know what to do. That's me. Okay, I'm going to just squeeze and flatten. And then what do I do? I don't know. Let's have a go. See if I can just do little ridges in here with the tool. So all I've done is just put a little stroke, stroke to little lines in there. I don't know if you can see the lines. Does it look like a hand? Not really. Best I can do though. There. There. It's not great, but it shall do. Okay, now if I can do it on the other side, that'd be awesome. Oh, my hands are... 
Okay, so um, I'm, I'm going to bring it up so you guys can see what I've done. Done. See what I've done? Did? Something like that. I don't know if you can see it. It's probably not going to focus. It's going to be out of focus, and it's got too much light on there. I'll, I'll we'll put a picture up there that's really close. So I've squeezed a little bit on there, and I've managed to flatten it out, and I've put some little lines into it. And now we're going to do it again on the other side. This time, I'm just going to make a ball. I'm not going to try to flatten out because it didn't work in the slightest. Just need to stick it on. Stick that thing on. Come here. I wonder if I can stick the wispy bits onto it from my glue. I don't think it's actually going to stick on there and stay there anyway. No, don't worry about it, Fred. It's getting too carried away. Okay, so what's what's the what's the deal? He's he's his hands there. Oh come on, stay. All you gotta do is to stay in place, putty. And oh after this now I, I just wanna make really, really horrible monsters. This is just too too tame, too fiddly and too tame. I just want to make big, hoary, teeth-filled, tentacled monsters with one eye or many eyes, many eyes, oh yeah. Monsters that you cannot sneak up on. Doesn't matter how good your stealth is because they've got eyeballs in all directions. Multiple mouths, so they can eat more than one player's character at a time. Oh, I'm getting excited. That, that's got to be... I've got to make something that's... Oh, there's nothing that's never been seen before, but something that is not... Maybe I'll make something that's not in the monster manual, which will frustrate everybody, and then I'll get a request to have a stat block, which I will never make. Oh, God. That's a terrible thing to say. Okay, so I am not doing so shite hot with this one. The side is actually proving to be more difficult than I thought. Okay, so give me a second. I will try to fix it up. Um, Chris, this is a finesse skill. Make a beholder. Those seem easy to make. I've already made a beholder. Chris, I've got a beholder. You look at my playlist, it says... Uh, I've, got a, I've even got a beholder playlist, I think. Um, making a... A cheap uh, D&D Beholder miniature or something like that. I spent hours and hours making one. But yes, Beholders are done. It's got to be something else. Now this is not really proving to be as easy on this side. The other side, not so bad. This side, more difficult. And doesn't look quite as good, I think. Um, yeah, I feel like the other side was more of a fluke. Fred, yes, yeah, stick to big baddies. I uh, I leave the horde monsters alone. I can't see you making a at least ten of these blights. No, no, not not unless I was insane. Yeah. Could anybody tolerate doing this? I just don't think they could. I couldn't. Big baddies, big monsters, things that will eat the players whole and burp and say, please give me more. Okay, so that looks, <laughs> uh, let, let's just say, it looks for how it looks. I don't know if I can do anything more with it, that's the problem. I'll put the strokes into it and see if that'll, uh, that'll help. The little lines. I did the little lines before. Yeah, it's not working quite the way I'd hoped. Hang on, just give me a second. I'll just clean my tool off. Uh, Joan, what's that? How about making a roper? I've already made a roper. I've got a video on how to make a roper already. Um, I did. Uh, it looks good and have him eating 
dinner player um dinner player characters yes well yep done a done a roper done that i i copied one that i already had i gave it three tentacles um so very complicated it took me ages too it turned out pretty good too um now if i can just get my tool to make some little lines along there I can, look i can barely see what i'm doing here okay so is it is it passable probably not is it going to stay that way? Yes, it is. <laughs> Alright, so where's where's the rest of this putty going to go? That's a good question. I've got, <clears throat> I don't know, 20 minutes and then I'll probably lose my mind. Is it the right scale? It's slightly bigger. It is It is a big twig blight. <laughs> uh, there. Are all minis set to the same scale? Stupid question, I'm sure. They seem bigger big for the squares on the battle map. Um, well D&D miniatures are supposed to be uh, scaled to 25. So about 25 for a medium sized uh, miniature. So 25 is as in 25 millimeters or one inch. Um, is it one inch? Is it 25? I can't remember. Is it 25, 28? I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Anyway, Let's just build out the base of this thing. Let's put some of this putty here and then um, I go and do something else, like have some food, do something less stressful, maybe wash my um, my shambling mound. I don't mean give it a bath. Paint wash, paint wash. The bell bottoms are getting bigger. Yeah. There we go. Um, I wonder if there's some way of making this thing seem more Twiggy. Oh, does anybody remember Twiggy? She was very thin. Actress. And uh, what was uh, what was her name? Was it? I'm pretty sure it was Twiggy. I'm sure that was her name. Okay, let's grab some more of these. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, this is this is um, this is a painting painting and crafting map. The yeah, the squares here aren't so that there. If you can see the little, the darker white lines, that is that is the scale for the miniature. So the, the base is the right size, even if everything else is slightly wrong, wrong in terms of scaling. Um, okay, stick it on. There we go. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Okay. Obviously, one leg looks longer than the other. That's because it's been growing. It was in the sun more, got more water, things like that. Um, so, as you can see, my mine looks slightly bigger and looks almost identical to the original <laughs> not at all i do realize um okay that's it i'm not going to try and stick the head on for those of you who are wanting to see something crazy happen uh the feet look um look good like roots going into the ground yep i think that is definitely what i've been going for I'm going to try and make a head and stick the head on out of new putty. Yes, I was feeling like it was very Grootish. This miniature looks like Groot. 
And who doesn't like Groot? I mean, Groot is just awesome. Whether it be adult Groot, baby Groot, teenager Groot, just hilarious. Oh, 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 there we go. I wonder what would happen if I gave this title How to Make a Miniature Groot. Yes, it's very clickbaity, that one. Might get myself into a lot of trouble. I mean, let's get real. I mean, the twig blight looks a lot like Groot. I am looking forward to another um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Do you know, I have to say that my favourite characters have definitely have to be uh, Groot, Gamora, and the Skunk. Um, they, they have definitely been my favourite characters. Gamora is dead though, so that's not very helpful. And um, the Skunk is still alive, which is good. I was a raccoon. Um, <clears throat> okay, so my hands are really, really, really sweaty. So I'm going to just rub my sweaty hands over the top of it. I don't know if that's supposed to help, but I'm just doing it anyway. <laughs> uh, he's a rabbit. They're dead. Who's dead? What? No, no, not all of them. Just some of them, isn't it? Or did they all die? I don't think they all died. I thought only some of them did. Um, I am Groot. Yeah. That means so many different things though. Put a piece of wire into the head and then attach it. Oh, okay. All right. All right. If I've got a piece of wire, yes, do. There's a piece of wire there. I'll do that. Okay, I'm making the head. Wish me luck, everybody. He's a raccoon. Uh, you should have said spoilers. Spoilers? I thought, isn't everybody dead? No. No, I don't think everybody died. Sorry, Aaron. Spoilers. <laughs> it's too late now, I do realise. He's also the captain. Who's the captain? The raccoon? Or Groot? I thought Star-Lord was the captain. Nothing against um, Chris Pratt and his character, but I much prefer much prefer um, Gamora, Groot, and the Raccoon, since I've been corrected. Right. So this is the head. And I, I feel like it's... This is just so risky. I can see it now. All right, let's, um, whoa, blow me. No, go, come here, come here. Is that, which way around is it? This is a problem. I don't even know which way around the thing is. Okay, so let's, let's see if I can get a bit of wire. Can I stick a bit of wire in the, in the top? No, not really. Because there's not enough putty up there to do it. Um, I know. I'm, I'm just going to... No, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do something and see what happens. Which god of thunder are we talking about? He's a rabbit. He's a captain. He's a rabbit. Thor said he's a rabbit. He's a rabbit. Message with you. Messaging with you. I, I watched it for the third time this weekend. Don't argue with the god of thunder. Yes, he calls him a rabbit and says he is captain. Only the dead guys died. Drax is great too. They're all good. Uh, Drax is all right. Drax is all right. Um, okay. Let's let's see if I can. Can I stick this thing on without it falling off? Or will it just look like an alien? <laughs> it just looks like an alien now. Oh god. Okay. Um, the head is partly in place. Ah, it's fallen off. Okay. Get it on there. Yeah. Wiggle it on, and now we'll we'll do technical stuff with it in a second. 
Uh, panicking now. Uh, water. And we'll try and blend the little sucker's head in and then I'll shape it up. Yep. No, it's not working quite the way I'd hoped, but that's fine. Well, we'll keep going at it. Just pulling it down, pulling it down. Blend, blend, blend. Whoa! Maybe this won't be a disaster after all. I should really only say that near the end. Drax invisibility? Is Drax invisible? I don't really think he was. I thought he was more... Well, barbarian, barbarian makes sense. Only the dead guys died. That's, uh, that's, that's a good point. Only the dead, dead ones died. It's Marvel and DC. When does anything stay dead? I don't think anything does ever, ever stay dead. It's like Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know why people get upset about character death because like, you know, short of your dungeon master saying, no, you can't, you have to make a new character. It's just not the same if you, if you can just come back from anything. I was like, it's Dungeons and Dragons, man. It's like fantasy. Nothing stays dead. Death is just another... Another door. Another journey. Death is just the beginning. <laughs> I will return. And as uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger said, I'll be back. Oops, I feel like my, um, my twig blight is taking on a different life. Certainly looks better with a head. Not so great without the head. Uh, that's looking pretty good, Fred. Darren, from Darren, that means I, I, must have, I must have got somewhere successfully. The problem is, is when I have to start putting some features into the thing, and then it'll all fall apart, right? The head will fall off, and um, it won't look right, or some, such thing like that. But so far, it looks like I might have actually got part way there. Okay. All right. So, head is in place. Although, ready to fall off any moment, I suspect. And um, I'm thinking about what I will do next. Flat, narrow face in the front. So, pinch. And then flatten. A little bit maybe with this thing is that doing anything I don't think it is uh, death and DD should be possible but still incredibly difficult and dangerous Admiral Akbar you are welcome to your opinion you are welcome to your opinion and, and death should should be possible for characters absolutely but I don't, I'm not married to um, how death takes place. Doesn't matter how it happens for me. It's like, you know, it's just another part of the game. And, and I think after running Curse of Strahd, like I, I've said before, um, I was never really married to the concept of character death anyway until I had played characters and had, I think I had a dungeon master who would kill my character about every two sessions and after that I just I stopped building characters and really stopped caring about what would happen to my character um, and and he would insist you know the problem was he would insist I bring in a new character I think one day I actually um, uh, said okay I'm just gonna get one of my mates to build me a character in anticipation of uh, having yet another character die and I was playing, I think it was a rogue, and the rogue would die literally every single time. Um, okay, so let's let's see now. Now that we've got this there, I'm going to see if I can stick a mouth in it. It's not working the way. I'm going to use a sharp blade. Oh, the head's starting to come off. Oh no, I knew it would happen. Okay, all right. So let's. 
reattach the head. I should have put all the details on it and then meshed it in, right? This was this was, that was my error, but I just it's just it's so difficult to get things to stay in place. Okay, so how do I do this? I want the head to stay in place. I still want to give it a, a, a mouth. I still want to give it a, some eyes. But as soon as I apply any kind of pressure, head comes off. Okay. I'm shaking. <laughs> I can't hold my hand still. I don't know what that is supposed to be. That is supposed to be a mouth, supposedly. And some eyes. How am I going to put eyes on this thing? Now I'm really stressing. Look at this. It looks way too happy. I know what it is. This is a happy Groot. Oh, cool. Let's see if I can get the head to sort of stick back on. Looks more like a... Um, I don't know. What does it look like? I'm going to flatten the head out and see if that helps. And then what what do you do once you once you flatten out the head? Then in the back of it looks sort of spiky and so forth. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that, but what am I going to use? I'm going to use use a tool, some sort of tool. Sorry, Aaron, I'm moving them close up. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know if it's going to magnify because I did not um, set it to adjust the magnification. And it's probably going to bleed out a little bit. Does that make sense? That's what, you, that's what we've got. All right. Okay. So now that that's done, let's try to make sure this. <clears throat> Let's just try to get it right. I'm going to just stab the top of the head and do little bits on it. Because I don't know what else to do. I don't know what I'll do. I'm just going to just stab the back of the head with a pointy thing. Because I can't think of anything else to do. I just mess it up a little bit. Will that create spikes? I don't know. But it won't look smooth and flat then. Right now it look, kind of looks smooth and flat, doesn't it? Smooth and flat, smooth and flat. No longer smooth and flat. And... And then, then what? Then what do I do? Um, along the top of the head, I'm just going to do some little snail trails. Little pricks. Little pricks. Yes, that's uh, sort of it. I would love to be able to make him look more scary. Because right now he does not. All right. Okay. I, I feel like if I go any more, I'm just going to make a, a horrible mess. So you got to know when to quit. Plus four charisma with that backside. Hey, 
Yep, sorry, back side. I know you can't get a close look at that, but that's the back side of it. And this is the front side of it. And look, exactly the same. <laughs> Snail trails, little pricks. Oh my. <laughs> sorry, mate. Um, I'll show that comment. <clears throat> it's it's not in a bad way. Uh, looks good in a my my car pick kind of way, <laughs> Darren. Thanks. <laughs> yep, just bleed. Um, <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> I'm I've got to definitely stop here. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to lose it. If I do any more, the head will fall off. Uh, post pics on Facebook. Yes, I'll put them on Facebook and I'll put them on YouTube so that you guys can see. And um, I think the Call of Cthulhu is like the best idea under the sun. Tentacles, eyes, big teeth, mouths. Those those are the sorts of things that I can probably cope with. So um, maybe we will do that tomorrow. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Because my twig blight is weird it's very weird but i'm gonna live with it and i'm gonna move on and just consider it a learning experience so when you are making uh, dungeons and dragons miniatures by all means do not do not make little itty bitty miniatures that are medium size or smaller unless you're extremely skilled because it is very very difficult very 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 difficult as as i can point out from here so <clears throat> if you found this entertaining or useful which i suspect you probably didn't but if you did please share and like the video subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell button to be notified when i try to make more monsters that are cheap and hopefully more successful than this one it's not a complete disaster but it was a little bit difficult i have to say we're going to make something vastly more horrific than today um so yes hang around for that now if you like supporting my channel and watching this did actually support me i have many more videos on how to make monsters that are far more interesting and exciting than, that, than this one so check them out in my playlists on uh, making cheap DD miniatures it's, it's there don't you worry you'll be able to find it um, and I have made some of the more traditional monsters as it happens. Now I don't do Patreon, but down in the description there is an affiliate link to the book depository and Amazon where you can buy stuff online. And a lot of the tools and stuff that I've used today is down in the description as well. Um, I'll make sure I update it if I haven't. And this is your opportunity to give feedback in the live chat, uh, which of course you'll have to do very quickly because I'm about to end up. If you're not part of the live chat and you feel like um, giving me some feedback or some advice, um, by all means you can do that uh, down in the comment section. That's what the comment section is all about. Otherwise, till next time, keep rolling those 20s. I'm signing out. I'm leaving you all. And I just wanted to say... Van Damme, I watched almost all of your movies, almost all. <laughs>